I shoot a lot of movies in natural light, and Nikon HDSLRs handle available light beautifully. But as you advance in your movie making skills, you'll eventually want to consider gear that will let you enhance your lighting. I'll start with one lighting accessory that I bring with me all the time, and it's not even a light. It's a pop-up reflector. It's amazing what one of these can do to actually enhance your shots. Whenever there's a strong light source, like the sun or a bright window, the contrast between lit areas and the shadows can be higher than you want. But now when I bring in the white side of this reflector, it bounces that light source back on the darker parts of my subject and brings up a lot of details that were lost in the shadows. If you're out in the sun, the silver side bounces even more light back into the shadows. Now if you don't have a pop-up reflector, any large white board can do the job. But what if you want to actually add light? Well, there are lots of options. These are all constant light sources, or hot lights, since they remain lit all the time when you use them, as opposed to flashes used in still photography. Let's start with this small LED light. This is great. It's small, lightweight, and even though it's considered a hot light, it puts out no heat at all. They come in a wide range of sizes, with a variety of features and accessories. This battery-powered one slips right on the accessory shoe and fills the shadows nicely by sending out light from the same direction as the lens. This one can also adjust its color temperature so that it can match everything from daylight to incandescent light. And if you want to add some modeling to your subject, you can just pop it off and hold it to one side. When you want to control all the light, you'll want to get a lighting kit, something like this, with a variety of lights, stands, and accessories. When I light a subject, I start with a basic three-point lighting setup. A key light, which acts as a main light source for the scene. A fill light, which is a light about half the brightness of my key light to fill in the shadows. And a backlight to highlight the edges of my subject to help separate him from the background. Now, if I don't like the harshness of a light, I can add some light modifiers to soften the light. I can place a sheet of this material, sometimes called diffusion, over the light to broaden it and diminish the harsh shadows. If I want to broaden the light even more, I can use a softbox like this or bounce the light into a special umbrella. If I want to add some drama, I can place colored filters called gels over the lights. This is a great way to create a mood or an atmosphere to the shot. Now I've only touched on some of the most basic lighting techniques here, and there are as many styles of lighting as there are types of lighting instruments, and probably thousands of instructional books, guides, videos, and workshops available to help you learn more. My advice is to watch other movies and shows and try and determine how the scenes were lit, and then go out and experiment on your own. The more you practice, the better you'll get.